Tired of spending so much time editing your videos just to export them and they look really, really bad? I'm gonna show you exactly how to export your videos in iMovie so you don't have that problem anymore. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you wanna learn how to edit video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So what I have here is iMovie opened up, my video imported and edited just like I want it. I did a video on how to import media into iMovie. If you have any questions on that, I'm going to go ahead and link that in the YouTube cards now. You can check that video out and then hop back over to this tutorial and continue on. But for now, we're going to go ahead and continue with exporting our video. So first thing we want to do is we want to go up to the top right corner here, click on this little box, and it gives us a couple of different options. The only option I really recommend using is file because there seems to be issues with all the other options. So click on file. Once we click on that, we'll go ahead and change the title of our video as well as the description and then I don't really mess with tags but for format if you're exporting video and audio make sure you have that selected if it's only audio that you have you can select audio only as well for resolution I shot this video at 60 frames per second and I want to export it at 60 frames per second you have a couple of different options for resolution but I want to export mine at 1080p if you shot yours at a different frame rate, you're going to have different options there. But the big thing is you want to make sure you have it at the highest resolution possible. And then for quality, we have uh, ProRes here. And as you can see, that's a really large file size, but you can change it to high. And by changing it to high, you see that it drops the file size significantly. You can get away with high for YouTube quality. If you're doing this for a professional or you're doing it for, say, a client, I recommend using the ProRes because you're just going to have, it's going to be, the quality is going to be that much better. And for compress, we want to make sure we have that on better quality. Then we're going to click on next. And what we'll do is that's just going to be the name of the video. And then we'll select where we want to save it to. I want to save it to my desktop. Click save. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.